Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a rich vintage bass that's kind of like a pluck bass in a way. Kind of hard to describe so many sounds after so many patches, but anyway, it sounds like this. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. If you like the patch, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's dive into this patch and see how it is created. So the level is going to be 4.6. The panning is going to be straight up and down. The envelope is going to be 0 0.013 decay and sustainer all the way at the top. And the release is going to be 1.30. <laughs> For the transposing, it's going to be zero and zero for the transpose and the fine. For the glide mode, the variable is going to be down and the held, is, so it's going to be up here. So the second knob is going to be on on bend and the glide time is going to be 21%. And since it's a bass sound, we're going to have it on a mono setting instead of poly. The octave and retrigger switches are going to be down and we are going to be using some voices. So eight voices of unison, the detune is at 25% and it's going to be 23% pan because the, for the basic, I kind of wanted it to be more in the center as opposed to this where you kind of lose it a little bit so about 23 or so around that general area now for the oscillators here the noise level is going to be 56 percent we're not going to be worrying about sync frequency at all so don't worry about this knob here for the sub saw here the level is going to be 64 percent the phase at 100 and then the tuning is going to be 0.5 octaves and the detune is 30 percent and it's going to be a square wave <laughs> Now we are going to be using the filter envelope here. So first off, the filter setting here is going to be 32% for the cutoff, the resonance 42%, keyboard tracking, velocity tracking are down, and we're using the low pass 24 filter. Now for the filter envelope amount, the attack is going to be 0 0.528, decay and sustain, or de yeah, decay and sustain are going to be at the top, and the release is going to be 0 0.086, and the amplitude here is going to be 55%. Because we don't want to have it going up too much, and it's going to be on the cutoff. So if we went from 55 all the, all the way to the top, listen to the difference here. Kind of gets a little nasty up there. So about 55 is pretty good. So we're not going to be using the LFO here. I did try some tempo singing to different kind of stuff, but I kind of felt the patch was kind of already done in that sense. I didn't feel like I needed to modulate anything extra. So if you want to do that, you totally can. You can do the sync. I tried it, but I didn't really like it. So that's for you to experiment. If you want to modulate this with an LFO, be more than uh, go ahead and do so. Now for the effects here, it's just going to be using a little bit of chorus. The depth is going to be 49%, the rate 25, and the mix 30%. All the other effects are off here now on our channel strip we have a little bit of eq here and this is just kind of cutting off the low end bringing out that mud as usual and that's pretty much it and then a little bit of compression just to kind of keep this patch in check a little bit here if you like the patch and you would like to download it, it's free it's for everybody it's in the video description below so go ahead and click that link and get yourself a free patch and as always let's play us out and listen to this uh rich vintage bass pluck sound whatever you want to call it and as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one